Spiders. They're one of the most feared animals on the planet. I get it. They're everywhere, in your yard, in your bathroom, and heck, I bet there's a spider watching you right now while you watch this video. But don't freak out. I know how you feel. I used to be afraid of spiders myself. So how is it that I've let some of the creepiest and most venomous species crawl on me and even bite me? You gotta start somewhere. Today, I want to show you a spider so special and so unique, it will change the way you see spiders for the rest of your life. I'm headed out in search of one of my favorite species of all time, the bold jumping spider. Now, what I'm basically scanning for here are big, dark shapes. See, bold and regal jumping spiders like nice, flat, vertical surfaces like this. They're visual hunters, and that gives them the best range of eyesight to watch for prey. What they'll do is they'll hunt along a wall like this or or the top of a chair or railing and they'll be watching for insects to land my hope is with these waning hours of day i can catch one doing a little bit of hunting before it puts itself to sleep here we go right here on my front porch i don't know if you can see her look at that huge jumping spider that is a bold jumping spider big female this is an extremely special animal Look at this. Hi, sweetie. How you doing? This is one of the few spiders that I can actually easily get her just like this. Hi. Come on. Come on. There you go. Oh. Look at that. Look at that spider. That is incredible. These are pretty big spiders, and believe it or not, they're one of the two biggest jumping spiders in North America. The only one bigger than this is the regal jumping spider, which looks a little bit different, usually a bit hairier and a lot more white patching and banding. Like most of the Phidippus jumping spiders, look at how blocky and chunky they are. With those squat little legs, big ol' eyes, they really aren't that menacing looking compared to other types of spiders. Wolf spiders, fishing spiders, tarantulas, they're huge, hairy with big old fangs, tiny little eyes. A lot of them have very skittish movements, which can freak a lot of people out if they're not comfortable with spiders. The bold jumping spider is one of the most interactive and curious spiders on the planet. These little creatures will walk all over your hand, stopping to examine you, or simply just sit there and clean themselves. Once you get past their eight legs and many different eyes, they're actually not unlike tiny little cats. They're fuzzy, they've got big ol' eyes, and they're generally just curious about their environment. The confidence that these animals demonstrate is actually where they get their name. In the animal world, describing something as bold means that it's confident and generally unafraid. But it does not mean aggressive. You would be hard pressed to find a less aggressive spider than the bold jumping spider. As soon as they realize you're not a threat, rather than bite you, they'll actually kind of patrol over your hand and hunt for insects. So if you're in an area with lots of mosquitoes, having a jumping spider might be to your advantage. A super popular cartoon, Lucas the Spider, is actually based on this exact species that I'm holding right here. And Lucas the Spider has been a great ambassador helping people overcome their fears of spiders all across the world. And you can see why they picked the bold jumping spider to represent a cute animated character. They basically are cute animated characters in real life. The way they move, the way they look, they almost don't look real. She's just kind of wandering around, occasionally stopping, wiggling her little petty palps as if she's processing the information. And it's thought that they're actually able to do that. This isn't just us anthropomorphizing. One of the most popular features of a jumping spider are their big eyes because they're so cute. But those eyes actually serve another function for the spider out in the wild. The jumping spider has incredible vision and it's thought that it might be even better than that of us humans. And what's crazy is humans have good vision, but we have huge brains that are capable of processing a lot of information. So it makes sense that we'd have good vision. Good eyes plus good brain equals good vision. But these guys have good eyes, but a tiny little brain, probably the size of a poppy seed. And yet they potentially have better vision than we do. How the heck does that work? Well, it turns out that these spiders are able to use multi-function brain cells, meaning that they're able to use one brain cell for more than one task, and that allows a tiny little spider like this to actually be one of the smartest arthropods on the planet, and possibly even one of the most intelligent invertebrates in the world. We know about octopus. Octopus are super intelligent. 
But the jumping spider is a surprising little animal that a lot of us are sleeping on. You can see how inquisitive she is as she walks over my hand. This is not an animal that feels threatened in this interaction. She's simply walking around, feeling with her petty palps, checking out the environment, and figuring out exactly what's going on. What's amazing is I love the way she'll stop and look at me, those big eyes just figuring me out. And it's almost as if the spider and I are bonding, which is crazy because these spiders are actually a super popular pet. These guys have an incredibly general habitat and an incredibly general range so it's likely that one of these spiders or one of their cousins is living right in your backyard right now. The nice thing about jumping spiders too is they're extremely general predators. If it's small enough for them to overpower, they can probably eat it. And even though they're not venomous to humans, they do have pretty tough venom. Turns out they can actually take down prey that can be as large as even twice their size, which does take a significantly potent venom to be able to do. However, in the very unlikely event that I'm bitten by this spider, I'll be totally fine. Have a look at that. Gorgeous little bull jumping spider. Beautiful, beautiful arachnid and one of my favorite animals in the entire world. Jumping spiders are absolutely incredible. One of my favorite arachnids to work with. And if you wanna learn how to catch jumping spiders in your backyard, check out this video right here. It's a complete guide on how to catch even the craziest jumping spiders probably even ones you've never seen before. Hope to see you there, and until next time, don't forget to get outside and find your own adventure.